G'day, I'm Adam David Collings, the author of Jewel of the Stars, and today I'm here with my beautiful wife Linda, because we're doing the Writer's Significant Other tag. This tag was first created by Bethany Artizada, and I was kind of tagged indirectly by Rebecca Rodriguez, because she tagged everyone who was watching, and I watched, so <laughs> here we are. So Linda is a nurse, and she's into uh, pen pals, that kind of stuff. And she has her own booktube channel, which I'll link in a card and the description. So I'm just going to ask Linda five questions. So what do you think that I do as a writer? Um, you sit in front of a computer, mm -hmm. which you do for work as well. Yep. <laughs> and Can't get you, enough of it. <laughs> you write and write and write and then sometimes yell and then write some more. If we can't find you, you're usually out here in the office. Yep. Um, the kids go to me, where's dad? It's a bit late at night. I was in the, in the office. I call it garage because it is actually a converted garage, but yeah, it's an office. Um, yeah. I call it the fortress of solitude. Anyway, he's usually out <laughs> here. And also because of um, him as a writer, he does a lot of stuff online with other writers and he often does conference calls with writers. And so there's, there's a lot more to it than just writing stuff on a computer. Yeah. I actually feel lately like I have actually physically written anything in a very long time because I've been doing that other bit, which is my less favourite part of the writing process. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Editing, yep. Because <laughs> I've written so many first drafts that need to be edited that I feel like I'm kind of trapped in e editing purgatory. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, what's your favourite part of me being a writer? Um, favourite part is having bragging rights to say to people that you've actually published some books. Mm -hmm. um, and just seeing that the end result of years of hard work. Mm -hmm. um, and it's really good when I need to write things and emails I can go to you and you can help me write them better. <laughs> <laughs> Always handy. <laughs> Alright, what's your least favourite part of my being a writer? Um, just when you're getting stressed out and you're hiding out here and yeah, that drives me mad. But yep. I'm used to it now, 15 years <laughs> of marriage. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Alright, so what is your best writing advice for anyone watching? My best writing advice? Yes. Well, I'm not a writer as such, but I do write a lot, but I'm more of a, I suppose you could think of me in TV terms, I'm a reality TV show writer. Yeah. So like I write journal stuff mm -hmm. and I write to other humans. Oh, those humans, they're a strange species. Yeah. <laughs> I like to, to, um, I like to write things hand written. My best bit of advice is that if you've got something in you and you feel like you have a story to tell, tell it. Because um, you never know what that story is going to do to impact others. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to plug one of my favourite people in the whole world other than Adam. Um, she's a, um, a, blo a blogger in Australia and she basically gathered a following by just sharing her life with other mums and women and so sometimes you might not have like Adam's very imaginative and he comes up with great stories about other worlds and cruise ships in space which is so cool you need to read it <laughs> but this lady honestly what she shares is just everyday life and she's created a community online of women who are all very much the same. We're all imperfectly perfect and we're okay with that. And that's cool. So I say, you know, if you've got something to write and share, go for it. That's my advice. And her name? Oh, and her name is Constance Hall. And because I've just mentioned her, this is going to have to go in our online village. So I'm going to say, hi, village. <laughs> so I will G'day make village. sure this goes up <laughs> and I'll make sure that Connor's tagged in it. Um, in another yep. side and we'll note, link to Constance's blog uh, in the description. She just did a TED talk today in Christchurch, um, and I'm still wiping the tears away. It was beautiful. So yeah. Anyway, sorry, darling. I'm just hijacking. Yeah, this no, that, that's what this is all about. But she's a writer too. Exactly. <laughs> she's got two books, I believe. 
She does, and she's working on a third one, and she's also done something called The Queen's Diary, which is mm-hmm. like a, a diary that she did for teenage girls. Um, and she's working on one at the moment. It's actually um, stories of women that have survived divorce. And um, what she's doing is like, it's a fictional story woven through it because she is a very imaginative lady as well. But she's also gotten true stories of people that have div- dealt with divorce and put it through. So that's what she's working on at the moment. Um, and she's also putting her own artwork in it because she's quite creative. So, But she self-publishes her books because... A lot of places just wouldn't publish her and yet she's one of the top selling um non-fiction authors in australia because yeah for indie authors indie (laughs) authors um because she's able to share with people things that everybody knows but don't say but she makes you comfortable to say it sorry i'm just doing it again (laughs) all good all right uh question four then can you describe or sum up or talk about uh, the story I'm working on? Um, so Adam wrote his first book that he managed to publish. It's a short story and it's a cruise ship in space and war breaks out or something? Yeah. That's right. It's been a while since I read it. I loved <laughs> it. Um, and so he's writing the sequel of that. And... Um, yeah, so they're kind of stuck in space and so their comfy cruise is sort of turning into a bit of a survival story and it's very um, interesting and there's lots of things happening and there's lots of different characters and character developments because because it was only a very short story because Adam does them well, you're only really getting an introduction to the characters. So what I'm looking forward to is building on the characters of... Um, there's a, a doctor lady. There's a um, writer lady. Am I wrong? I don't know. Uh, no, she was an engineer. Yeah. But she... Yeah, you, you got all the stable characters like your captain, your first officer, your chief engineer, all those kind of things. But mm-hmm. but because it's a cruise ship, you've got your car- uh, your, your passenger characters. Mm-hmm. And so obviously each of those will be kind of, each episode will focus on another yeah. passenger for a little while. So, yeah, so uh, that's it. But yeah, yeah it's a cruise ship in space story and we're going to get to know more of the characters now. Mm. So, question five. What is some marketing advice you have for spreading my book? Um, well, I have the unique ability that other spouses do that I have other friends in social media. So I am mm-hmm. able to share books, links and things as well and promote as well. Um, tell everyone if somebody says that they like a certain genre of book and you, you've written it and you're trying to <laughs> get get it out there mm. tell everyone, share links annoy people you, the only thing that you can do that is wrong is not tell people because that's the whole point of marketing a book it's, you have to tell people I wrote this book and it's really good Let's mm. let's advertise it so um, I'm always sharing Adam's links to his things on <clears throat> Facebook and you can share and like Twitter and all the other, other the other stuff. Look, I'm I'm thirty five. I'm I'm not a Snapchatter or anything, but apparently that's a thing. Yeah, our, 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 our daughter's really into it. Our fourteen year old can teach us how to do that later. Mm. I don't feel old until I realise I have a fourteen year old anyway. <laughs> but yeah, you just Word of mouth is good. Telling people is good. If you know somebody is interested in a certain genre, tell them. Don't be afraid to tell people because, to be honest, you would actually be surprised at how many people are interested in what you have to say. Cool. Well, that covers our five questions. Um, anything else you wanted to add? I think we've... Cover, um, cover things pretty well. I'm just really excited because Adam's at the point now where he's very close to being able to put the deposit down for the next book cover for the next book, which to me shows that it's really exciting and not long before the new book will be published. And he's also designed the cover so that people can actually now do print on demand. And oh my gosh, that was the coolest thing ever I've seen is a book cover. And it's got my husband's face on it and <laughs> pictures and 
Yeah, so yeah. I'm really excited about that. That was uh, draft to digital. They, then the new print on demand service, which is still in beta. Um, they got a, a nice feature where it'll take your ebook cover, and it will basically generate a, a print cover with with back copy and a nice author, author photo, space for the barcode, all that kind of stuff. Mm. So. Hmm. Oh, thank you very much for joining us, darling. That's all right. Um, I'm sorry if I hijacked the video too much. Yep. Bye, all. <laughs> Catch you later. Oh, and if anyone is watching this as an author and have a significant other, consider yourself tagged. Bye. Make it so. <laughs> <laughs>